Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back. It is as always good to see you today. It is Friday, finally. Uh, it's been a very long and busy week for me. Um, I did take yesterday off from editing and recording. Um, my my eyes and my brain just needed a break from it after, I mean, I, I, I work all day on a computer and then doing videos and editing on a computer in the evenings. Um, I, just, I just needed a break from staring at screens for a little while. So um, yeah, I took a break and now I'm behind. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's um, go ahead and work on getting caught up here. And we do have a new Amberlynn Reed video and it is titled Living in a World That Dislikes Fat People, Clean With Me and Sushi. And it's gonna be a vlog. Um, mm. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what she has to say here and, uh, make comments then. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. And if you are new here and do not know, I do speed Amberlynn up to 1.25 speed because her regular speaking speed is just too slow. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hello. Hi, welcome to a new vloggity vlog. So I'm having some allergies. I'm sure you can tell I've been itching my. I can't tell, but I mean, I, I always have allergy issues. So I always hear me sniffling, snuffling and not being able to breathe when I'm walking around the house because I, it, I'm not getting out of breath because I'm fat. I'm getting out of breath because I can't breathe through my nose very well. Um, so <laughs> that's my problem. Eyes like a mad woman. So sorry. You guys are going to be proud of me. I brushed my hair last night. Good job. I will say good job on that. I know um, I've mentioned before that I don't want to shame anybody that does have depression and has trouble doing basic hygiene things. Because I know that is often one of the first things to go whenever people start having mental health issues. I know Amberlynn, um, it's situational and she could just try to suck it up. But, you know, hey, good for her before I washed it. Yes, I did. And then as I always do, I put my hair back in its uh, bun right after my shower. And maybe an hour later, I decided to check my Instagram and someone messaged me and said that you can get mold in your hair from doing that. Ma'am, what? I've been doing that since I was a youngin. Just putting my hair up, you know, right after it's already wet. Like what? I've never had mold in my hair. Is that real? I need to do some research, but I just thought that was like crazy. But to the person who said that to me, I don't know. I, I've not heard that. I know people a lot of times will put their hair up after showering. Um, so I don't know. Uh, let me know down below what you know on that. I might, I might, uh, look it up. Sorry, I was reading an email. It is true. Thank you for letting me know. I will be doing my research. I will be uh, trying to figure that out because if that's true, then I am a rare species because I have never had mold in my hair. Or... Well, you are a rare species, but not for that reason. Right? Oh my God. But today is day 15, folks. This is the last day for- Hallelujah. <laughs> I will say I am happy to hear that. Um, yeah, happy to hear that. For daily uploads, I currently do not have a new schedule. I have no idea when I'm gonna be back and all of that. But when I do know, I will definitely post like a community post because I think that's what I'm gonna start doing from this point on is whenever I have like a new schedule, whatever, I'm just gonna post it on there. So definitely keep your eye out there. I'm looking in the viewfinder and I'm just like, should I put on makeup? Should I wear my hair down? God, I am my own worst enemy and I just don't even wanna look at the camera. I'm sorry, you guys. Sorry if you stare at me like this because I don't think I'm gonna wear makeup today and I'm definitely not gonna wear my hair down. You know what? Maybe I might wear it down tomorrow. Editing Lynn here, I did in fact wear my hair down and straight so good job so i was craving sushi my friend wants me to take a picture sushi's tasty oh your friend sure for her and send it so i'm gonna do that even before i eat any but i wanted to show you what i got so this is called the crunchy blue it's literally just crab <laughs> just crab i get mine all cooked this one's called cloud nine this one has crab and like a white fish Last but not least, I just got some like- I don't eat raw fish, but I do love me some California rolls. Like avocado, like this little guy, really just avocado. Love avocado rolls and avocado sushi, it's so good. No seaweed and rice, this looks so good. Oh yeah, and the one with the um, 
white fish also has jalapenos on top, which is gonna slap something fierce. It's gonna be so Who's this friend that wants you to send a picture of your food to them? She hasn't really mentioned friends before. Is this somebody in your DMs trying to get with you? So good. I told my friend, I will try not to forget to take that photo. So I'm about to do it right now. So there was also a friend that wanted her smoothie recipe uh, several weeks ago before she and wifey broke up. Um, hmm. I don't know, folks. Photo. Photo is taken. My AC just shut off. Okay, the photo is sent. Oh my god. So, did they give me soy sauce? Yes, they always do. I'm the sure sushi they place did. is so freaking good. I use my fingers. Don't come for me. Mm. A lot of people do, or they use, you know, um, chopsticks. That was my happy dance. Don't come for me for that, too. Everyone comes for me for everything. I can't even be myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am a ginger girly. Oh my God, ginger is so good. Mm. Okay, you guys, so I have to clean my coffee table. I knew this would happen when I got a coffee table, that it would absolutely become a spot where I would just set. It does, it happens. My kitchen table is that right now. It has comic books all over it because I've been putting comics and uh, bags and boards. Random stuff. So let's clean it. All right, so first things first is this. This was actually from last night when I tried those cauliflower bites. So I'm gonna go put it in the kitchen. Here's just some pens that I'm gonna put the rest with my pens. I'm not ready to get rid of this Lego. So I'm just gonna set it over on my little bookshelf. The remote, just gonna put that on the couch. And then all of this stuff is just like miscellaneous stuff that I can just take off of here. I'm definitely, without a doubt, keeping this Lego. I love it, so I'm gonna use it for decor. But I'm just gonna set it right here next to Pluto and Feline's laptop, which is underneath Pluto's leg. And then here we just have... Well, there's Feline's laptop. She's still there. She Is, is she going to keep that giant bear Pluto that Feline got her? My tarot cards. Have you been doing your tarot readings? Question a day and like a little thing that you put your drinks on. Next is... It's called a coaster, Amber Lynn this little guy this is what I used to um oh someone's calling me hold on hello so this is what I use to brush my fur babies every single day I actually keep it um on the coffee table so I'm actually gonna get rid of this guy this is one of the wannabe Legos I've done this is just some Cute. Zoloft Feline's hair tie so I'm gonna go put that in her bathroom and then a little plant that I'm just gonna set aside now I'm gonna take this method glass and surface cleaner and I'm just gonna spray it I'm also gonna spray this guy here which does come out and I'm just gonna let it sit for like a minute. Okay, now I'm scrub-a-dub-a-dubbing. Finally, this is gonna be clean again because I use it as a place just to store stuff. I need to stop. Yay, it's clean again. And that is a little cat toy here that they play with. Oh my God, this looks so good. I love my little Lego moment. I had to add that guy there next to my greenery. Lego Hungry. moment. So, I Hungry. think it's kielbasa time. I also have more onion. I use some minced garlic. Wow. That lighting was spectacular. I'll just set you guys right there. So, I'm actually LOLing. <laughs> I really are you? Are you are you actually laughing out loud? We did just hear a giggle. Damn. So, I'm not a, like y'all. Y'all coming for me. And I just now saw y'all coming for me. How to get a Good old pan. Um, I'm not a car girly. I don't know cars, nothing. And I just found out because of a DM, I'll push you guys back a little bit, that a G wagon is not a Jeep. A G wagon is not a Jeep. I don't know a lot about the vehicles either. Um, those particular vehicles. I, th I think a G wagon is a Mercedes Benz, like SUV of some sort. My whole life has been well, I mean, Jeeps are Jeeps. Jeep is a name brand. I mean, it's a company name. It's a brand. An absolute lie. <laughs> I am so shocked right now. I literally thought it was. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to my pan. I'm gonna cut this good old, wrong knife. I'm gonna cut this good old uh, 
onion. Cause I'll Good lord. The onion first for a smidge of a bit of a time. But y'all, I'm not a car girly. I know nothing about cars. I just know that G-Wagons are so cute and I would totally have one if I drove. It would be black and I would look amazing in it. Okay? Okay? So yeah. But thank you guys for letting would me you? know. I really don't care though. <laughs> I don't care. I do love me a Jeep. Okay, I do love me a Jeep. I'm not gonna lie. I love Jeeps. I think they're so freaking cute, depending. Not every single one, but Jeeps are cute. I've been a busy girly. There's boxes in the hallway. I don't know if you can see them. Makes me sick. I don't like it. I love moving, but not when I am moving away from the love of my life. I don't really want to get into that right now. So she's not doing better. She's still having issues or ever <laughs> but i like these onions so with amberlynn having these breakdowns basically and basically spiraling and gaining weight and not doing well it's probably not the best way to show feline that you can change and do better uh i'm i'm sure wifey is I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure, but if I were wifey, I would be like, you know, I kind of think I've dodged a bullet here for wanting to spend my life with you if you can't change to, to give us a better quality of life together. So, and I, I don't know. This is to be kind of bigger, so I'm going to put them in the pan now. Ooh, hear that sizzle. Next is a good old... Turkey kielbasa. I have been obsessed with this meal. I like literally am fixating on it. Why am I like that? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so my food is complete. Mustard, cottage cheese, raw broccoli, and my little turkey kielbasa and onion. You want foodsy? Oh, you want foodsy? Oh, got some on the floor. Paw. Oh, here they come. Paw. Good girl. Aww. Okay, so Aww. on my wax melt, the light, it's all gone. It doesn't work anymore. So I hope I got the right one. Let's test it out and see. I might be devastated if it's not. Well, check the, the right one. Check the marking on the bulb to see if it's the same same kind. She seems so small. Oh boy. There's a there's a difference there. <laughs> there is a difference, folks. Look at me being a handy woman. I don't need no. Yeah, changing a light bulb is so hard. How many amber lenses does it take to change a light bulb? Man, let's see. <gasps> Yay! I just changed a light bulb. Yes, I did. I did that by myself. Yes, I. Look at her being an independent woman. She's going to be just fine living on her own. Dude, I did that. I did that. By the way, I had leftovers, but I want to give you guys a little update on this cottage cheese. Don't get it. Please don't get it. It's not good. I promise you. Stick to the daisy. I'm going to stick to her right here. Speaking of refrigerator, I'm thirsty. All right. So it's been a few days since we've done questions. So I figured let's do it. Yeah. Last time she pulled out the sticks... I don't think she actually answered a question. She was talking about doing a podcast, but I don't think she actually pulled out a question. Not that I care. Um, all right, let's see what number we get. Ooh, purple. Number six. Okay. Do you think you'd be treated better if you were smaller? Ugh, yes, I do. I mean, there's discrimination in workplaces, in healthcare, social settings, like the list can go on and on. Bigger people do get treated worse. Sorry, I'm kind of a mess right now. I have been doing some deep cleaning because cleaning is so therapeutic. So I've been just like going at it. But yes, there is discrimination. It has been proven in every sort of way that bigger people just don't get treated as well as smaller people. It goes into like pretty privilege, skinny privilege, da 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 da. So if I, Amberlynn Reed, was smaller, I know for a fact that I would be treated better, whether it be in public, whether it be online, healthcare, doesn't matter. Um, I would have more opportunities. And that's a really sad world to live in. A world that really strongly dislikes fat people. Skinny privilege and pretty privilege are definitely things. People 
do treat you differently based on what you look like and how they perceive you as far as uh, how attractive they think you are. <clears throat> Absolutely. Um, as far as like her being treated on uh, differently online, yeah, there might be a little bit, but a lot of that is based on her personality. Um, and I think a lot of people nowadays do try to base their perception of people on their attitude and how they behave instead of what they look like. Because uh, some people might have a chip on their shoulder and they might be douches, for lack of a better word, and that could be why they're treated badly. Like, like Amberlynn, for her, everything comes back to her weight. When a lot of the reasons people have issues with her have nothing to do with her weight. It has to do with her attitude and how she's treated people, how she's treated her audience, and things that she's lied about. People don't trust her on a lot of things. Uh, they think she's a liar. They think she's abusive. They think um, she's just not a good person. And that has zero to do with her weight. So, I don't get it. I'll never get it. Because it's like, this isn't your body. This isn't your life. And to even to consider fat to be unattractive is just... It ain't computing to me. Because if we start to think down the line here, what about all of like the models, you know, modeling for cigarette brands? Is that unattractive? No. Uh, millions of people would choose sure the is. cigarette. A lot of people think smoking is unattractive. I find it unattractive. Over the fat body. I really don't want to go down like a whole thing, but it really just comes down to like shallow 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 people and I'm so glad that I'm not that person it does suck to be a person living in a fat body because every single day that I am living I experience hate because of it I didn't just come out of my mama's womb at this size so I have been several different sizes and even at 400 pounds but she says she's always been big even when she was a kid I got treated better than I do at above 500 I see it I feel it I've experienced it so it just makes me wonder, like, how would I be treated as someone who was a normal weight? It would be mind-blowingly different. There have been, like, people, actual people, s stories that people share, whether it be in YouTube videos, documentaries, articles, whatever it may be. Even some people, like, reaching out to me personally who have lost hundreds of pounds. And they're like, it makes me so sad how I'm treated now. Because forever they were used to being treated like crap. And then all of a sudden they lost all this weight and became more physically attractive. So they began to get hit on more by people. They got better opportunities. Friends and family, that's the crazy part, tr start treating them better. Like, that's just like, it's so weird to me. I just don't. I mean, again, pretty privilege. If people find you more attractive, they're going to treat you differently. It's just, I mean, it's sadly true that that's true, regardless of weight or the way you look or anything of that nature get it. I'll never get it. I could probably rant about this for literally forever. And thankfully I can use my voice because I'm actively someone who experiences this shit every single day. And it just sucks. Random fact, Wasabi likes to lay on paper. Hi, baby boy. A lot of cats do. When I had my little Bessie baby, uh, if, if, if there was a piece of paper somewhere, she would go lie on it. If I was working on something at the kitchen table, had a piece of paper, Nope, not anymore. That is now where Bessie is. <laughs> Bessie is sitting. He will be laying there. And I don't know. I give it about 30 seconds. Yeah. Was Mama right? Yeah. He has beds. He has blankets. But he says, nope, I'm not even going to go on my cat tree. I'm just going to stand and sit here on this nice piece of paper. <laughs> Cats are weird, but I love them. What are you doing? No, I think I'm actually shocked and maybe a little triggered. And that's why I've been showing us so much. But like... People didn't know that I actually edited my videos, which is so crazy to me. Um, so I want to show You obviously edit your video because there's cuts in them. So you obviously do editing. I just don't know why she insists on editing on her phone like this because it seems so inefficient. She could get them so much quicker and better, in my opinion, if, if she used an app, app on her computer. She has a MacBook. I'm sure there's iMovie for MacBooks. And not just for the phone. I don't use Apple products. But I'm sure there is. Um, so she could use an application on her computer. Do you like an example of like a before I edit? 
Look at all this weeble wobbling. Like, why am I going to leave that? You guys, <laughs> this is an example of the way I edit. <laughs> this is how I've always done it. Anyways, you get the point. But then this is how it looks after I edit it. You guys, this is an example of the way I edit. This is how I've always done it. But people thought I just... You, you get the point. So when you guys see me... Yeah, we saw that. Me, like, sitting down, talking, like, whatever clip it is, there's tons of editing. And that's why you always see those, like, random little cuts, like, while I'm filming. Those are all little tiny... Yeah, cuts are always edited. I mean, people that didn't think you edited videos, I mean, pe people just don't think you do much editing. They don't think you put much effort into your videos. I think that's where that's coming from clips I take out I take out me saying the word um if there's any pauses that are like longer than a second like I do a lot of editing and I love it so much that's how about you edit out your chewing why when I come on here and I'm like you guys I love editing so much like I thoroughly mean that it takes up a lot of time it takes me way longer to edit than to film but I enjoy it so much and I'm just so grateful for you guys for watching me so thank you all right grandma chic is here um I just got out of the shower I'm gonna have some of these spicy dill pickle almonds didn't she just shower this morning? Might have this as well. It's just that Think Protein Bar. I put my hair down and I was doing the dishes and my hair got inside the dishes and it creeped me out. So I went to go wash my hair. So yeah, like I washed it last night. So I feel- <laughs> What? <laughs> Her hair touched the dishes. I guess it was food in the dishes and she didn't like that maybe? weird about washing it two days in a row because in my head that makes me feel like it's gonna get super dry more drier than it is I don't know it's weird but I just wanted to end this vlog I'm actually super tired um, I'm gonna have the snack edit this video probably take a melatonin you know how it goes me and my caffeine free diet Pepsi like it's my literal sidekick at this point like anyways I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you wow wait this is the last day whoa wait oh my god i just realized today's day 15 in this moment i was about to say oh i was gonna wake up tomorrow vlog and then i'll see you again tomorrow but i won't oh and by the way yes as soon as i sat down i put my little my little guy in there i do not shower with this in here but my friend sent me this really funny meme it's this like thing that you can buy online where so you can listen to your airpod while you're in the shower you like put it over it i thought that was the funniest thing and i was like yep she knows me very well but yeah i don't know who's this friend You've mentioned this friend like three times in this video. And you haven't broken down into tears in this video. Hmm. I'll be back, Um, but just keep your eye posted on my community tab. I'll let you guys know. But until then, I hope you guys just keep smiling. That reminds me when I first started YouTube, I would always um, end my video with this quote. What was it? Something about if you're not smiling, smile or something like that. Oh my God, it's so cringe. But anyways, see you guys later. Bye, love you. All right, well, um. I think the most interesting part of this video was that she mentioned this mystery friend like three different times that wanted a picture of her food uh, and has seen her memes or pictures of things to wear over her ear for her iPod or um, AirPod, I think. Is that, is, is that what those are called? Um, and then she mentioned the friend again. I forget about what. It, it, it may have still been in relation to the sushi but um yeah she's mentioned a friend multiple times in this video hmm. it's a little sus but um yeah i think i said everything i needed to say during the video basically and we'll see i guess when she posts next i'm not sure when it's going to be but she'll let us know i guess but i hope you all have had an amazing day and until next time, be safe and take care.